shells, bullets, projectiles, plumbat, grenades, granata. Young players like you have played with them, picked them up, bang. Obviously, the reason Scott is here, the main reason he's here, is obviously to teach the kids about mine awareness and unexploded ordnance. And uh, as if by chance, yesterday, uh, one of my full screws caught sparks was out, bumped into one of the locals just up the road, just round the corner from here, and was basically told that he had a live grenade in his garden. By the time I got up there, he'd already cordoned the area off, and then what we tried to establish was whether the pin and the fly-off lever was still in it to obviously make sure that the actual grenade itself was safe. It's then just a case of securing the fly-off lever to ensure it doesn't come off, and uh, then bringing the grenade back to here so it just highlights some of the problems that we have with obviously the kids, if the kids have got hold of it, especially the young kids. And it just makes Scotty's job more worthwhile because if he can obviously spread the word through his spirit of soccer. Who would like to be a professional footballer? Hands up. Everybody. 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 Stop. Anti-tank mine. Look at that. Here. Look at that. If you, if you, that is an anti-tank mine. If you saw a field with that sign, would you go into that field? Now, can you... now turn to your left. This approach that he's, he has, they open up to him in a way that they would never open up to someone else, another adult, because he has an information that they need. And he's talking about a sport that they love. So at the end of the session, he can tell them anything he wants and they, they're going to listen, you know, because they respect him. Of cluster bombs. I can introduce my head at Proctor Bomba. Yeah, we. NATO dropped the cluster bombs. Bang! He's dead! Uh, the good thing about that the particular project that he runs is that you get the whole family turn up to watch the football and then you've got a, a captive audience. He doesn't lay with the point, doesn't go on forever and ever and ever and, and bore people to death. So his message is very simple to play football, you need to have legs. Go, oh, I'm glad, yeah, yeah, I'm, glad he's, I'm glad he's a goalkeeper and not playing outside. Oh, dear. Well done, dude. Them. Normally, a mine would be blown in situ, we wouldn't move it at all. Because there's so many of them in such a wide open area, They've pulled the, each of these mines to make sure they're not booby trapped. Okay, and now they're stockpiled and we've got too many of them. Ten, uh, it's time to get rid of them. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It is my war still, you know, basically wherever there's a conflict, there is a need afterwards for us to come in and try and educate the kids about the dangers of the debris that war leaves. So it is my war, like it or not, it is my war. You got upside down, you donut. You got upside down, didn't you, eh? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.